Okay, so we've got the verse, intro, verse, and chorus down. The other part we haven't got is. I know there is a hollow, I need to fill it with a draft of all the words that I won't say. And with a quiet whisper, I send the curse upon the day that never used the sun to see the light. Okay, so this again is a picking pattern we've already um, played pretty much, which is the second fret on the, f the the shape is second fret on the fifth string, second fret on the third string, and the um, picking pattern is what we learn in the verse, um, so we should be familiar with it. Five, four, and three. Five, two, four, three. Five, one, four, two, five, three, four. Okay, we should know that by now. Okay. Down to the first fret on the fifth string, everything else open, same picking. Over to the fourth fret on the sixth string, picking now, uh, the thumb goes on six and four. the fifth fret on the sixth string. Okay. And lastly, Go to this shape again, which is the shape in the intro. Second fret on the fourth, third fret on the third, and play what we played in the intro. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four, one, five, three, four, two, five, three, four. So all in all, we should have. I know there is a hollow. After all the words that I once said And with a quiet whisper I send a curse upon the day That never used the sun to see The light And back into the verse Okay, sorry about the singing there I did get, didn't mess it up a bit so that's that, and at the very end, as the outro, it comes to the chorus. Okay, so it slows down towards the end, and uh, that, just as he finishes, to this shape, second fret on the third string, open six to begin with, and then strum. Okay. And I won't be found. Okay. So that's the whole song. I should have taught you. You should know it by now. Um, what I'm going to teach you now is the differences between what he plays in the album version and the difference uh, what he plays in the more recent live versions. Um, the intro is slightly different, it uses a different shape. It uses a new picking pan or a new little roll with his fingers anyway. So to begin with, um, instead of in the intro, instead of using the two fingers there and playing this, he uses just one finger on the second fret of the fourth, and he plays the same picking again though. Okay, then he adds the second fret on the third, sorry, the third fret on the third string, fourth fret on the second string. So you've got three fingers on now. Okay, and he plays this. Okay, so he alternates. Okay, 
Okay, so that pick in there, um, he adds an extra note in between uh, the thumb strokes on the five and four. Okay, so usually he would just have one note there. Okay, but now he's got two. Okay. So he plays five, three and two, quickly. So it's like a th uh, finger roll or arpeggio. And then onto the fourth string straight away with a thumb. Okay. And then the first string straight after. So after the first string, it's five, two, sorry, five, three, and then a pinch on four and two. And then pinch on five and one. Let me play it through. Okay, yeah, pinch on five and one. Uh, four, two, five, three, four, three, which should be familiar, uh, which is the second part of, um, second part of which we, we used to from earlier. Okay, so. Just take a lot of practice this bit because your fingers need to be very nimble. So that's what he plays for the intro in this um, version. To the you'll notice on that shape it slides up. I don't know if I told you that earlier, I might have done, but um, might be uh, overstating this. But the on that shape, second shape, what he does, he slides up to that second uh, fret position on the fifth string. Does then you'll notice he's using a thumb pick. This is the sorry, this is the version on YouTube where he's playing for the radio station KEXP. I think it's the radio station. Anyway, um, he's using a thumb pick on this, um, and what he does at the end of this shape, he has a little strum. This thumb pick, which I can't do with my thumbnail. Okay. Instead of playing just four on its own, he plays a strum. I suppose I could play it. But what I prefer is to have a little strum with my index finger, okay? Okay, so we've got... Then to this shape. And then back to this shape again, which is the, um, he uses this from now on, uh, which is uh, the original shape at the end, adding the fourth fret on the second string, and he plays the, the added little finger, added little difficult finger roll thing, okay? With a little strum at the end. Okay, so all in all, we've got um, this is the entire intro of this version. He plays uh, this. Before he sings, he just lifts off again them two fingers and just plays the open strings on the third and second string, fretting the second fret on the fourth string. 
and plays five four three two five four three one five three four two five three four. Okay, which we should know. That's why I did it really fast. And then into the singing. Well, if I ever see the morning. Okay.